All right, today I'm going to work on his uh, head of the steer. Somebody suggested I get a uh, drill chuck and tighten up my uh, subject in that and it works out beautifully. So that's what I'm going to do today is work with my chuck and it really does work. I mean it holds it in there nicely. Time to play with some clay. I ended up not going to uh, Livingston today. We had a weather warning of uh, heavy snow. So we stayed home and uh, we're gonna go Monday instead. Turns out it got sunny and bright. <laughs> Typical weather. I'm gonna do as much as I can. I had to uh, get this studio warmed up and that's why you hear the the heat going and I just barely got this clay soft enough to work with because I didn't expect I'd be down here today okay I better put the horns on I guess what I will do is when I'm done working on this head I'll take it off of here and put it on to the uh, armature of the uh, neck of the uh, steer that I've already got worked out and started working out clay I can't do the neck of the steer until I get the uh, head done All right. I got my photograph of the steer's head, our skull here, for the width and the length. And uh, I'll just have to do the best I can on the side view and all that stuff.
I'll uh, put this up next to the uh, sculpture before I get too deep into this to make sure that what I'm doing isn't too big. Before I go any further. Alright, I uh, took the uh, skull off this chuck to see if it uh, will look okay with the uh, body of the uh, steer, and it, it does, it looks proportional. A little longer than the uh, normal cow skull, but that's uh, the way they are. Um, I'm going to do as much as I can um today on the skull but i'm not going to have time to work on it much more because it's getting too late in the afternoon i waited too long i didn't know whether whether i would get down here or else we'd be going to both you know bozeman and then livingston but as things turned out neither one happened and uh i've got to try to work out the uh, horns right now. I'm going to clip the uh, rounded ends right now. I don't need them anymore. Especially if I put clay on it. got the uh, horn going on. What I did is I rolled out the clay and then split it so that I can get it evenly wrapped around the uh, clay, the uh, wire. Well, at least I got both horns the same length. I think. Let me just check to make sure. Yep. All right, I'll pick this up Monday. Uh, I hope you have a happy Easter this weekend. And uh, we'll see how far I get next week. At least I got the skull sketched in nicely. And uh, now I just got to go and do some research for the uh, muscle structure of this uh, 
beast. And we'll see how that works out next week. By the way, the gentleman that suggested using a chuck, a drill chuck, what a great idea. Thank you so much. All right, everybody, good night. Happy Easter. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.